Tonight, we have an update from Wuhan, China, the epicenter for the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Caroline Goggin. Thousands of medical workers are starting to withdraw from Wuhan because the virus levels there are going down. Chinese media is reporting all the temporary hospitals in the city that were set up to deal with coronavirus cases have been shut down because there aren't enough patients to fill them. And more than 31,000 medical workers from across the country were sent to Wuhan to help combat the pandemic. As of today, Wuhan had seen only one newly confirmed case, leaving the city with about 8,300 current cases. More than 39,000 patients have been discharged from Wuhan hospitals. Here at home, health officials are warning it's going to get worse before it gets better. To keep us up to date, we're getting daily updates from the governors of Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Iowa just News reporter Kim Kalunian was at Governor Gina Raimondo's news conference today. She joins us now from Providence with the latest developments. Kim? Well, one of the biggest questions we've been getting as of late, what is the status of public schools moving forward? Today, the governor says she expects to have an answer in the next 24 hours. I know there's some anxiety out there among parents, teachers, principals related to schools. When will they open? How will we do distance learning? Governor Gina Raimondo says the response to the coronavirus is ever evolving. By tomorrow, we ought to be able to provide guidance to the entire state as it relates to K through 12 public education. On Tuesday, state health officials announcing two new cases, a man in his 50s with extensive travel history and a woman in her 40s, the source of her illness currently unknown. These individuals are both at home and they're both recovering. That brings our total number of positives to 23. We have had 403 negative tests and close to 3,000 people are now self-quarantining. The health department out with new guidelines directing all dentists to suspend non-urgent treatments for 21 days and calling on families to keep funerals and wakes to 25 people or less. This is a hard message to deliver, but this guidance is about keeping the other people in your life, those other loved ones in your life, healthy and safe. Ramundo encouraging all businesses to have their employees work remotely, announcing free Microsoft 365 software for all Rhode Island employers and small business loans of up to $2 million. She says businesses should call 521 HELP or visit the website for the state's Division of Information Technology to take advantage of these resources during these unprecedented times. It's still going to get worse before it gets better. And if, if, but if we, if we stay level headed about it, and follow the directions, we're going to get through it. And also today, state officials calling on the federal government for additional swabs so they can expand testing for coronavirus. And again, the governor says she expects to have an announcement tomorrow on the status of public schools moving forward. We will bring that briefing to you both on air and online at WPRI.com. In Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.